Tech Revision with Mrs. Swanee Pooh. <laughs> Hi Year 11, today we are going to talk about this little um, section about technical textiles. So these are fabrics or materials that are made to be functional rather than aesthetic the way that they look. These textiles have particular jobs in mind. So they are enhanced and they are designed purely, like I said, to have a function. So there are four different ones that we're going to have a quick look at. We've got Kevlar, which is a really interesting one, actually. Um, and some of you may have heard of this one before. We have Nomex, um, which is a fire resistant fabric. We have micro encapsulation, which is quite similar to the nanoparticles that I've been talking about on the modern materials. And we have conductive fabrics. So let's have a look at these in a bit more detail. So the first one we're going to talk about is Kevlar. So what you kind of need to know about this is it's a synthetic fibre that has been woven into this kind of pattern. Now, these fibres are extremely strong. Um, and also another massive benefit of Kevlar, it's resistant to abrasion which makes it really, really, really um, useful for things like body armour. Um, now, abrasion means, um, you know, like trying to uh, cut it with something, trying to, uh, you know, rub it or it doesn't it doesn't kind of break down upon um, any force being applied to it in terms of the surface. Uh, that's not the best explanation, but hopefully you know what abrasion means. So big advantage of this is because it's a fabric, it's flexible, it moves just like any other type of fabric, meaning it's really good to make things like gloves, um, stab proof vests, cut resistant gloves, um, fireproof clothing, uh, helmets. So Kevlar is a really, really useful material, super, super good for things like stab vests, body armour, and it's a very strong synthetic fibre that's been woven into a particular pattern. Right, Nomex is actually a registered trademark, so it's a trade name, um, but it's very, very similar to, uh, to Kevlar. So it's quite similar to Kevlar in the term that, in the in the way that it is a woven um, synthetic fibre. But this one is even more fireproof. So the fireproofness is built into the fibres. So it's not like adding a spray or a coating. This doesn't wash or wear away. This is in the actual structure of the fabric itself. So this is used in things like firefighting uniforms and racing suits. So things like F1 suits, lots of um, racers um, are wearing these kind of suits with Nomex in them, which protects them from fires and firefighters, firemen, fire people um, using Nomex uh, in their suits to protect themselves from flames. Right, this one, micro encapsulation. This is quite an interesting one. So this is where in the structure of the fabric, there are tiny little droplets of chemicals and they are encapsulated in the fabric. So um, the way that these can work, and it's kind of similar to that idea of um, odor free socks, kind of like the nanoparticles that we were talking about earlier with the modern materials video. Um, but the, the usefulness of this, having these little bits of chemicals implanted in the fabric, is you can make things like insect repellent fabrics, so keeping away things like mosquitoes. You can make odour resistant socks. So here you can see, um, if you've watched one of my previous videos, um, I said that silver is antibacterial. So that's why it's been used in this product, that this is a odour resistant kind of sock and antibacterial and also scented lingerie, so a perfume or something implanted into a, into a fabric. I'm not going to talk about that one anymore. Um, but that's what micro encapsulation is. Basically, little tiny uh, droplets of uh, chemical are held in the fabric and then they are released. Right, the last one, which I think is a really cool one, is conductive fabrics. And these use fibres that conduct electricity. So you can actually buy thread that is conductive. And we have some in school, actually. 
Um, and the big advantage of this is it allows you to make things like wearable electronics. So here you can see this person is either skipping or changing the volume on maybe some headphones or I don't know, something to do with their coat. And the big advantage of conductive fabrics is you don't have to have any wiring um, within this, which could make the garment uncomfortable to wear. And these are fabrics that conduct electricity. Um, another really um, kind of famous, well not famous, but well-known use are these smart uh, phone gloves that allow you to use your smartphone touchscreen uh, because they have conductive uh, fibres in the ends of the gloves, which allow you to operate your touchscreen. So conductive fabrics, again, open up an, a lot of different opportunities for designers. That is a very quick overview of technical textiles. I hope that was useful. See you on the next video.